Why can't I have a cute laugh like that? Oh. I mean, no. I really do. I'm afraid to laugh. <laughs> That's very cute. Do the laugh. Do the laugh. Do the laugh. Make me laugh then. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. This is incredible. <laughs> I've never been here before. This is the first time I'm seeing any of this. Shadow and Bone was a series developed by Eric Heiserer for Netflix, based on a series of books, the Shadow and Bone trilogy and the Six of Crows duology. Elena can be a bit spiky. I'd quite like to be a bit spikier, I Spike. think. Maybe people wouldn't mess with me. <laughs> Complicated as hell, really. <laughs> yeah. They want to be together, but they can't. And that's why it's so complicated. Today we'll be looking at the funny moments and a little bit of the behind the scenes moments and see what is going on with this series. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Does Kaz Brecker have a middle name? Ooh, I know. Do you? I do. Because he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the answer to this one? I think you Well, do. I think it's a question for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What is the color of the kefs used by material kiss in the second army? Leave your answers in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Let's bang! Oh. Slow-mo that coat. Spin! I bang! never forget oh, being me. under that carriage watching you do this. Carog man. Yeah, that's my favorite. That is my favorite. That. We get to enjoy this cast together playing besties on besties. Who is most likely to leak a spoiler? <laughs> you almost did it today. I actually, did. It but was also, a like, shame. while it was it, you were like, oh, there's a scene I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. But in the scene, what's <laughs> happening is. <laughs> After the events of the first season, Alina and Mal are on the run, hiding from all the people who are hunting Ravka's last hope. Difficulties come with this new season and the troubles that these characters face. Which city was the first place in Britain to open up a, a nudist beach in 1979? Well, we both know the answer to this I question. Do, darling. Brighton. It's Brighton. It's B Town. B Town. <laughs> we'll see you there. Have you ever been on the nudist beach? I have actually. Have you? <laughs> Gosh, you've got courage, girl. The book that this show is adapted from is a three book series, so it seems like it's more than likely going to be a season three following, but it's still up in the air. Putting the milk in right at the last second, but that's a secret, so don't tell anyone. Normally, when I wake up, I kind of flail around in the dark for this water bottle and do a little sip like that. I had a prop. I'm so excited I had a prop. There is real value in letting a story be complete and have an actual ending, especially when it's adapting something that does in fact have a proper ending already written. Until then, we can enjoy the cast read some thirst tweets. Call me old fashioned, <laughs> but I was born to serve my queen, Alina Starkov. Cook for her, make her breakfast, clean the house, have a hot meal ready when she gets home, do her laundry. If she cheats on me, that's my problem. Oh. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> she caught me slipping. Damn. As well as some theories. I think Alina's powers and the bright of the lightning has a lot to do with her feelings. The brightest use of her powers were when she was saving Mel at the start and at the end also to save Mel. Mm. That is a very good theory indeed. For some reason I thought this was a thirst tree. <laughs> it is really great to watch this cast, Amita Suman, Kit Young and Ben Barnes play all these games during interviews and promotion of the series and this season, as it gives the audience a chance to see how close they are in real life. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yes. Ice cream. Yes. The, the, the hot sweat. emoji. Hot mm -hmm. red face yeah. with the speed of yeah. sweat. Well done. The violin. The violin. The shower. 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 Wash. Bath time. The, the soap. Bubble bath. Soap. Oh, soap. No. The green soap. Yes, the, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Well done. Season one of Shadow and Bone scored pretty high with an 89 percentile, while when season two came around, reviews crashed a little bit with a seven out of 10 rating. Hashtag cook Milo. What? What? <laughs> Who did this? Who's Hashtag Milo? cook Milo. <laughs> oh, Milo's spin off show, like Ratatouille, when he is actually the cook. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd watch the hell out of it. And it seems like what fans had to say about it was majority of the creators didn't follow up with season one and the transition to season two correctly. Kit Young and Jack Wolf takes us on a tour of the set and provides a few laughs along the way. This way? <laughs> this way. I, I know where we're going. It was all a test. This is Sturmhorn shit. It's like a loft apartment, really. We get to explore it as you get to explore it. 
I'm not a born pirate, so I can't do this. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Listen, I know that Danielle Galligan and Callahan Skogman are just two people playing Nina and Matthias, but f I want what they have, and I'm tired of pretending like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's great. We have seen this game many times with the Outer Banks cast and Wednesday, and of course, this cast got the chance to play it as well. Who's who? I'm so sorry, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think I'm very much like Kalina. Darling, you shine. Oh, darling, stop. Darling. Oh, darling, stop. If you just can't get enough of Alina and Mal's world after the second season of Shadow and Bone, you might want to know there's a possibility for expansion beyond the Dark Fold. Volcra. Three, two, one. Scary! Oh. <laughs> Bagra. Three, two, one. Legend. Legend. It's only because you've been saying legend about everything all season. <laughs> With everything kind of up in the air regarding the film industry and Netflix in general, they have really been careful with what they put on their platform and series-wise, what gets renewed and what doesn't. Similar to what we heard about Shazam and Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania, it was said that a season three is really up to the viewers and how many it ends up getting. Rough. Oh, wow, yes. Um. The helicopter plane, plane. Like um. <laughs> um. Uh, it's, it's, it's a plane. It's not. It's a. It's a bird. Huh? Question. Is it Superman? Serious helicopter. Yes. Job. It appears to be not just the fate of Shadow and Bone season three that depends on season two's performance, but also a potential six of Crow's spin-off series as well. Meaning more is riding on season two than usual. That's always a bit of a roll your eyes moment in 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 any kind of story. But what's interesting about our story is that sometimes those things turn out to sort of be right. Mm. It's kind of like a marriage. It yeah, is, isn't it? pretty much. <laughs> The bickery, bickery old marriage. Bickery old all couple, marriage. isn't it? Look at some real isn't it yeah. So far, Shadow and Bone Season 2 is performing quite well on Netflix. So we will just have to let time go on and wait to see how the numbers perform long term for this one. Power. Power. She can stop a heart with a flick of her wrist, squeeze people's organs, make you piss yourself. She can hear your pulse and like slow it down or speed it up depending on where she wants you to be at. Also, I think flirting is a parent. She has that. <laughs> she has that in space. Never that. To say there was a lot going on in Shadow and Bone season two is an understatement. Yet the series actually flourishes despite the weight of plot expectations and character development. It was your birthday. I remember. I love this bit. That knife was actually not CGI. That was I actually threw it. It was so much fun. Again, we have seen this game before, played by the Wednesday cast with Tim Burton projects. Door, wizard, line. Oh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Nani. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah. Got it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said you'd be good at this. Straight away. Oh, what? Um, it's hard because it's flipped. Time. Wheel of time. Oh, it's wheel backwards. Of, the time wheel. Of time. Wheel of time. You would never guess that a show like this would have as much bloopers and just hilarious moments between the cast on and off set, seeing as how this is a drama series, but nonetheless, they are still enjoyable to watch. What nicknames do you have for each other? Oh, there's lots of nicknames. Uh, You've got buds. the most. You've I got do. Oh my so God, many guys, nicknames. Say all John of them, John 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 Long story. Yeah, that's a very long, a long story. story. That went through many to different to changes. <laughs> Having eight episodes this season, it has been said that season one did depict the story from the first book adaption, as well as moments from the Six of Crows spinoff, and season two of those books they are adapting. Which British king made Brighton popular in the late 1700s. Mum. Which king? Mum. Mum. King George. King George. The <laughs> what? How did you know? Your knowledge is just out, I know. It's just out there. <laughs> Thank you. EW was able to confirm that season two will not only cover Siege and Storm, the novel that directly follows Shadow and Bone, but will also cover events from Ruin and Rising, the finale to Bardugo's trilogy. Well, when you're filming, it's a bit easier because when you're on set, you usually have a couple of options. I really like when you go somewhere and the menu isn't too extensive. Like Cheesecake Factory is a nightmare for me. There's too much, too much choice. In this interview, we can watch the cast attempt to figure out fan slang. Melina. Okay, I hate to break this to you guys, but Melina is the medical term 
for something quite disgusting. I'll leave it to you to Google it at home. Don't Google it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an unfortunate one. Is that what it means in fans' lang? It's the ship name. Sorry. Lastly, we can watch Jessie May and Ben Barnes play a game where they have to answer to a nosy cookie jar. Russell, 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 Russell. Jessie. Hello. Your character in Shadow and Bone is able to summon light. If you had the ability to summon one thing anytime, anywhere, what would it be? Hermes. Oh, straight away. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, purple was used for kefta and a red embroidery for the alchemies. I'm re-watching Shadow and Bone, and Christ! Mal is so fine. Get in there. Yeah. Thanks for me. They found that they found the only two on the internet. Well done, them. So what do you guys think about all these moments, and what do you think of a possible season three of this series? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today, though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys. Umbrella. Yep. Oh, he's cute. With the rain or without? Without. Oh, I shouldn't. Sorry. Oh gosh, I shouldn't you, you're not gonna lose. You're gonna no, win. You lose every emoji. <laughs>